What's going on guys, Joe here with Colonation Media, and today we're going to be playing some Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo Switch on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection that just released a couple of weeks ago. And after playing Super Mario 64 uh, just a few days ago on the channel, I just really, really wanted to play through this game. So that's what we're going to do. I opted to not make a series out of Super Mario 64 just, just because. Because Sunshine has like some extra sentimental value to me. I don't know what it is, but I just love this game. And I probably don't even love it as much as I love Galaxy, to be honest. But I just felt like playing some Sunshine, so we're going to kick back, relax. This is not going to be a 100% run or anything. It's just going to be a series where we just chill out with some Mario and, and see what we can do. So hopefully we can get three Shine Sprites today, because this game takes a while to get going with all the opening cutscenes and all that jazz. So, welcome to Isle Delfino. Look at Mario running around in the background. Evil Mario. The Mario doppelganger. Mario loves the sound of that succulent seafood, because who doesn't, really? How does no one notice him in the background? That's what I want to know. Everyone's just too busy dancing around. No, Peach, it's not me. It's not me! Come on, now. How could I be in the advertisement for this island without you knowing? Let's be real. Toadsworth just wants to relax. He has no cares in the world. He is in total vacation mode right now. I don't know why I never noticed that it's like a dolphin-shaped island. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Alright, so let's get started. Very excited. Got my pro controller that I can break in too. Hopefully that makes the controls a little bit easier. I don't want to do file C. File C is for schmucks. We want to do file A. Alright. So we have like a mini boss-ish kind of battle to start things off. Oh. But before we do anything, we got to get ourselves a handy dandy flood. Good thing nobody died in that plane crash. That would have been bad. What's this icky taste like goop? It's moving! Now, now, boys, don't touch that. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. You do not want to touch that stuff. That just, it looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that face that Peach is making, though. It looks like the wheels are turning, but she just cannot put the pieces together. Most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Yes. Master Mario, if you would, cross over dreadful the heat. and find some assistance. <laughs> All right, it's time to find some assistance. Wow, the cutscenes look so much worse than the actual game. What the heck? So did they update the graphics, like the resolution and stuff, just for the base game, but not the cutscenes? That seriously looked like it was in 360p or something, and now we are in HD. Alright, so I'm just getting a handle on the controls here really quick. Wanna see what we're working with. That goop looks dangerous, I wouldn't touch it, Mario. Well, no, I don't want to touch it. If we do accidentally touch it, we can shake some of the goop off by doing a spin jump or jumping in the water. Alright. That's the spin jump right there. Ooh. I almost... Almost landed in that. In fact, I think I did because my footprints were goopy. Alright, let's... Let's grab Flood. Let's get going. I want to clean up some messes. Is it just me, or is it the cutscene is just a complete downgrade in visual, graphical quality? I don't know. 
blood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Yes. You are going to be of a lot of assistance, Flood, don't worry. With user instruction. All right, let's learn how to play. ZR to shoot water from the tank. All right. Okay, the R button is a stationary shoot. So we're using two buttons, whereas it was just one button on the GameCube version. And that's because the Switch does not have analog triggers. Okay, that's the hover nozzle. Okay, so this is a, like a, a some version of ammo, basically. You have to have water to do stuff. That makes sense. Look at that. Full tank. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. No, I do not want to hear that explanation again. That is giving me some Zelda vibes. Okay, so let me talk to you. Help? Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help. Alright. Take that water pump and clean the airstrip. You, you! Alright, he's not happy, obviously. So let's wash off these M's. Oh, look at that. A single coin. That is just what I was hoping I was going to get out of that. Wow. Wow. Totally amazing. I don't know if I ever explored the beach back here. Is there anything else that we can get? I don't know that there is. What is over here? I don't know if I've ever been over here. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hey there, buddy. Are you waiting for your pals or what? Mm, no? Question mark. I don't even know what you mean by my pals. Like the toads? I don't think they're coming over here anytime soon. Looks like there could be something in here. But I would assume we would need a different nozzle on Flood to get in there. I don't know. Let's clean up some of this mess. Who on earth could make such a gigantic mess all over the airstrip? I really thought there would be something up here. I guess not. I guess not. All right, let's let's fight this mini boss slash regular boss battle. First, we'll save you. We don't want you to be dirty during this boss fight. That would be not cool. Okay, so for this, we just have to shoot water into its open mouth, which is not difficult at all because we're not being attacked by anything. So he doesn't shoot anything out at us. There's no minion enemies. Just have to do that three times, and that's it. It does get a little bit more difficult because this is a recurring battle with these types of enemies. Um, but yeah, we will we will accept victory, and we get our first shine sprite, which I'm very excited about. We can get three in a half an hour video. I will be stoked. I will be totally stoked, because we still have more cutscenes. Alright, I'm going to go with just continue, and not save, in case we end up with corrupted data, or I forget to record my microphone or something and I have to re-record, so... Just being safe. Time for Mario to get thrown in the slammer. Sadness. Oh, it's time for the trial already. That was fast. So apparently we were framed. The Mario doppelganger has framed us for defiling this beautiful tropical paradise. And now we're being charged with it. And yeah, we're going to be sentenced to cleaning up the whole island, basically. Expert Shine Scholars. How do you get that position? What a shame. Yes, graffiti sucks. No one likes graffiti. 
I never noticed that the background, like, I don't know if they were just cutting costs and development or what they were doing, but it, there's literally no background. There's no courtroom. It's just a black backsplash. Never really paid attention to that as a kid. Okay, so we are trapped here forever and ever until we clean up this entire island. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Yes, quite a predicament indeed, Flood. Quite a predicament. Inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mm -hmm. Pollution is not the main problem. This object at the airstrip correct. So the shine sprites are going to be basically like the power stars of this game. And there's 120 of them, which is a lot. I want to know how they just flee. Like, they can just run away? I don't know. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we a darn perpetrator we need to stop him right now tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. yes but we'll start tomorrow we don't want to get started right away because we're in jail <laughs> do you want to hear my explanation again no all right we finally get to get into it here all that ugliness so I have to Get rid of your face? That would make for a short game. That's all it was. We finally get some, some free range here in the Delfino Plaza, which is going to be the main hub area of the game. And I guess before we can really do anything, we have to go clean up that big mess in the main area. Oh, you're safe. What a relief. This vacation is crazy. Yeah, I'll say. Not off to a good start. Literally got arrested like seconds into arriving on the island. Hello, Peach. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. Okay, whatever. So that is going to be our main goal here. We need to get rid of all of that goop. Because that is just ridiculous. And of course, Peach is just worried about why it's so dark. Which, it is kind of interesting that these shine sprites control how sunny it is. Kind of weird, but that's just how it works here. Well, I'm pleased to see you're safe. I must tell you, we were walking around town earlier, and it seems the area near the Shine Gate is still quite bright. Perhaps you should check it out, Master Mario. Okay. I don't even know what the Shine Gate is. Is that that towerish area with the graffiti Shine Sprite on it? I don't know. But we don't need to do that right now. What we need to do is clean up this area a little bit. And actually, all of this goop will go away once we defeat this goopy piranha plant guy. But I wanted to clear a little bit of a space so we have some room to actually stand here and spray water at him. This one is a little bit more difficult because you do have the little mini goop enemies. I'm not sure what their actual name is. But they spawn out of the graffitied areas and just launch their bodies at you just like that and that can be quite annoying it can be quite annoying but we're able to get through it without too much of a hassle there okay apparently goop can just hide an entire like 15 foot statue and an evil Mario <laughs> it's you you are the reason that I spent yesterday in jail, my friend. What is he doing? Okay! He is... He's on the run with Princess Peach. Alright, so we gotta run after him, we gotta spray him with water, and eventually that will... Uh, incapacitate him somehow. I don't know why. We don't need to be applying logic to this. We need to just save the princess. That is our main goal. Yeah, okay, don't want to slip on that. 
If you slip enough on the graffiti, you actually get hurt. And if you make contact with the Shadow Mario just like that, you also take damage. So you gotta be careful, you gotta maintain your distance, but also be close enough to still connect with your water sprays. At least he's just going in a circle, or a loop. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Ow, ow, not fair. Completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. Well, why did someone just leave it on the airstrip? Why are my sprays not doing anything? Okay, maybe I'm not actually supposed to spray him there. I'm supposed to let him open up the first world for us. So, yeah. Alright, it is time for Bianco Hills? Or Bianca Hills? Something like that. Let's see. Let's see what it's actually called. Bianco Hills, Road to the Big Windmill. All right. So I believe there's seven or eight episodes, so to speak, where you can get one Shine Sprite and then you get another one for 100 coins. And then there are two secret Shines in each level as well. So look at that, we have Peanut Park to the right, and we have Rico Harbor to the left. How cool is that? Let's talk to you. Okay, maybe I'll just jump on your head a bunch. Nope, nope. What do you have to say? Huh, you're back again, are you? You seemed like you were in such a hurry last time I saw you. Well, that's because that wasn't me. Like, seriously, how does no one understand what Shadow Mario is? Since when would I run around with a paintbrush and be blue? Okay, so this guy is offering us some some shades. And I'm all about a nice pair of sunglasses, but apparently we can't get any yet. We have to come back. Alright, let's just <laughs> dive head first, because that is totally safe. Totally safe. Okay, I can't get through here. Have to go that way. I guess we have to go around the long way. Okay, what is this? We have a bunch of... What are those things? I was gonna say they almost look like weird Goombas. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I definitely just splatted that one. On that fence. Alright, so we want to get rid of these M graffitis because we get blue coins for that. And blue coins will allow us to get further shine sprites in the hub world, Delfina Plaza, but I don't know how many you actually have to get in order to get a sprite. It might be every 10? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Yeah, I guess we have to go this way. Yes, we have to go this way. Oh, look, more graffiti. There's quite a few blue coins over here. There's this one. And then there should be two more right here, where that X graffiti is. There's one on each side of the wall, and basically you spray it with water, and then a blue coin appears out of the one that you didn't spray. And then you have a limited time to go pick it up before you have to try again. I don't know why I can't spray this from here. That would make my life so much easier because it could literally just drop down and get it but unfortunately it doesn't want to cooperate so we'll try it from right here which should also be easy if I can actually why can I not get rid of that X it should not be this difficult um, I'm definitely hitting it I don't do I have to be closer to it I don't understand. That should... I... I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't even know. Um... Okay, apparently we're just gonna try from down here. We can get it from down here. But I really don't want to. If we can get it from... Up here, we can just drop down on the other side. That would be the easiest possible thing to do. So, of course... That's not going to work. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. I guess we're just going to drop and 
to it from right in front of it. Oh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. This is just going so well. Going so well. Can't wait till I get to the actually difficult parts of the game. And of course I overshoot that. I have to do that again. I'm not going to have enough time to pick that blue coin up before it disappears. This is just going so, so well. Okay. Take two on that. I'm also running out of water because I just sprayed the wall for five minutes straight. For no reason. Okay. Let's take our time because we have plenty of time to get over there. Don't have to rush. And there we go. Okay, so now we can get a second one by spraying this X, and it will appear where the previous X was. So... If we can spray from right here, that will give us a head start. Although that didn't work so well for the last one. There we go. Alright. This should be nice and easy. Take our time, just not fall off, and there we go. Four blue coins, just like that. It only took us half an hour. Alright, now we can move on to getting the actual star of this level. Or not star, sh shine sprite. Gotta refill on water, too. This one is pretty simple. I believe we just have to face off against another one of those piranha plant type of enemies. Like we did on the airstrip. And... To unlock this level clean a little bit of a path there get rid of some of these enemies and have a place to actually stand that would be helpful you really don't have a whole lot of space to work with here that makes things a little bit more difficult but I have faith that I can screw it up I mean that I can do it surprise that actually hit it that's one hit can I get it from there that's two hits one more. That went way, way better than I thought it was going to go. I really thought that that was going to take a couple of tries. Not that I was going to die there, but that I was going to have to go through a couple of cycles of him opening and closing his mouth. I have pretty low faith in myself after that, that blue coin debacle. There we go. We gotta be stylish. Gotta be stylish. Run past side somersault back. Alright, we are up to two shine sprites. Suppose we can do one more. Because we're already in start of timer, but I think at least 20 minutes into this video at this point, or close to it. Uh, okay, he's just telling us to use the hover nozzle. I already learned how to do that, but thank you. Welcome back, we're so glad you're safe, Mario. This vacation's just been a whirlwind of bizarre events, huh? And now the boat to the hotel isn't even running. Okay, so we have nowhere to stay now because we can't get to our hotel. Oh, more X's. Let's go ahead and grab that. This is over by the pier, I believe, which is this direction. And as long as we slide slash dive, we should have enough time to grab this. Oh, almost didn't make that. Almost didn't make that. Alright, let's grab this one. And then we can go back in for another Shine Sprite in Bianco Hills. Okay, let's see if we can clear this toad. Nope, I jumped too late. Jumped too late, but thankfully there we still had enough time to grab that blue coin. Up to six blue coins now, and let's... Let's face off with Petey Piranha, which I believe is next. Down with Petey Piranha, right. We get to face off against him a couple of times. He is all the way on top of the windmill. How in the world did a creature that size get that high up? I don't understand. I don't understand. Actually, I do understand because Petey can just straight up fly. Like, he just flies around like it's nothing. Makes no sense. It makes no sense, and I'm... I'm upset about it. Okay, for some reason I thought maybe if I sprayed water in front of Mario and then I tried to dive and slide that it would clean up the goop along the way. 
That obviously... Okay. Apparently the bridge is not actually there. I'm gonna have to try that again. I mean, at least I got to refill my water tank, but... Not that we really used all that much to begin with. Alright. I will make it this time. There we go. So we gotta avoid these giant... Goop ball thingamajiggies. We do not want to get run over by those. Okay. So far, so good. It's a little bit annoying that the giant boulder thingamajigs will just replace all the goop that you clean up. So you kind of have to keep moving here. Otherwise, you will never make any progress. What is that? Okay, I guess you just fill it up with water and it dies. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Flood wants us to use the hover nozzle. We just refilled our water with that little sprinkler too. That's pretty cool. Can probably just avoid those jumps. Okay, I just clipped through something there. What in the world? I guess we have to go up the long way. I guess we just have to do it like we were we were meant to do it. And of course I jumped directly into the thorns. Alright, we're gonna have to try that again. Or I can cheat and... Nope. Nope. Get up there, Mario. Get up there, Mario. Come on. You can grab that. I know you can grab that. Oh, man, at this point, I'm just wasting more time trying to cheat my way up than just going up the normal way. Okay. Well, we get rid of you. Get our life back. There we go. Getting a lot of coins. I'm almost wondering if we could potentially get the 100 coin shine um, in, this, in this episode slash level. But I'm not going to do that. I just want to go up against Petey. And get our third Shine Sprite of the game. Could you help out with the big-headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's a pain, but you think you can handle it. Yes. Yes. Oh, I probably should not have jumped on there because we have a blue coin graffiti right in front of us. And I don't know if it will stay there if I don't get it now. Like, certain blue coins you can only get during certain episodes, so to speak. So when you see it, you should get it. Uh, what is the camera doing? What was that? This is the slowest windmill of all time. My lord. We're almost there. Almost there. Hello there, Petey. That face, though. That sounds like the noise I make when I haven't eaten in 45 minutes. Oh. Oh. Yay, apparently... Mario's weight was just too much. Boss battle time. Yet again, a lot of bosses at the beginning of this for whatever reason. Okay, so this one is pretty simple. I'm pretty sure he just opens his mouth to, like, charge up shooting goop, and then we just fill his belly with water like that. And then when he collapses, we ground pound, and then we just do that process two more times. And I don't actually think it gets any more difficult. I'm not going to make that. Ah, I ran around the wrong way. It helps to get rid of a lot of these enemies, too, because them just jumping into you when you're trying to aim for his mouth is incredibly annoying. Probably don't have to do the first person, either. I could just press the R button and then aim it up that way. I don't know if that would actually save time or not. Don't. How did that hit me? What the heck? Alright, last time. Last time. There you go. Oh, okay. 
did not get enough in there. Let's just try with the R button. Yeah, that that's actually easier than trying to aim the other direction. It's throwing me off too, because in the, in the original game, it was like the controls were inverted there, but they're not in this game. And so I apparently have some muscle memory, even though I haven't played this game in like 10 years. And I really, really just want it to be inverted and there's no option to change it from what I've seen. Maybe we can check in the options for that. I don't know. Don't know. But that's going to be Shine Sprite number three. That is pretty much what I wanted to do in this episode. Because it does take a while to, to get off the ground with all those cutscenes at the beginning. Ooh, we can unlock the second level already, or second world. Another boss fight with the goopy piranha plant. I suppose we can do that really quick and then call it a day after that. We accomplished a good amount, I would say. I would say... Now, I think this one, we actually have to go through the cycle of hitting him three times twice. So, it's going to be six total damaging sequences. That was one, that's two... There's three... So then, he kind of acts like he's dying, but just kidding, he's back for more. There's one, two more. And really the harder, hardest part about this is just in between making sure those little goopy enemies do not ruin your day because they can just knock you off this little bridge. And that is quite annoying. Quite annoying. I don't understand how entire buildings are underneath these things. That makes literally zero sense. Let's go in here. I think this is where we turn in our blue coins. Welcome, welcome. I suppose you're here for that. Mm, yes, very good. That means I will require 10 blue coins from you. Okay, well, we don't have that. We only have seven. What's this? Not even 10 coins and you get nothing. Can't drop my prices that low. That would be bad. No, I'm not asking you to drop your prices. I'll come back once we have more blue coins. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And so that M on the side of the building too is going to be world two. But we still have plenty to do in Bianco Hills. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much where we can call it quits. We accomplished quite a bit, like I said. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back next time to do more Bianco Hill stuff. And maybe if we get far enough, we can get into Rico Harbor. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys for the next video. So until then, game on.